Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, a Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of September 2020. We're just going to see what comes up. This could happen at any time in September, and this reading may or may not be for you. It could be for the Cross Watcher, okay? Let's just see what happens. What do we have for Aquarius for the month of September? New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. New love, Aquarius. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And I think, you know, it could be for the per Like I said, it could be for the cross watcher. Getting to know each other. So, yeah, you're going to be getting to know somebody new. Um... And that's what I see. If uh, you're in a coupled relationship, then I don't know what to tell you. This appears, and maybe you're having a renewal. Maybe you're still getting to know this person. Maybe your love is developing to a higher level. Whatever this is, it looks positive. Let's see. What do we got for here? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? I feel like we need to take that one. Cracked cup. Dissatisfaction with life. Cat. A two-faced friend. Bull. Plenty of material things. So you've got plenty of material things. You have a friend that is two-faced. You probably, you know exactly who this person is, I'm sure. And I feel like you're dissatisfied with life. And maybe that's why you have a new love or you have a new love interest. You know? Um, there is some sort of dissatisfaction here. Um, you got plenty of things, though, so that's good. Now, when it says new love, it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. This could be a new uh, thing, okay? And I know that this is the Romance Angel cards. That's just what I chose for my oracle this month. But, you know, this your new love could be a new bike, you know? It could be a new house. It could be a new job. It could be a new partner, whatever. What are we... Uh, seriously... Um, new love could be a new love for yourself. New, you gotta, you got to open your mind to the possibilities. So what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius for September? Ooh, get prepared. Get prepared, Aquarius. Something is coming in for you. Your ship is about to come in. All right, looks like uh, focusing on the future. You've been waiting. Here it comes. It may, you may, it's, it's just around the bend, too. It really is. It's not far away at all. So, um, you better get prepared. Get prepared for something to come in. Get prepared because something is coming for you. It's something you've been waiting for. Oh, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Page of Wands reversed. So, uh, hmm. Page of Wands reversed is typically not the best news. Okay, it's not good news. Okay, this is like receiving a message that probably isn't very good. Could be about a commitment, could be about a, a job or a house or something like that, you know. Could be about money you were expecting to get, money not coming in. But you have plenty of material things, so it's kind of interesting. Um, this Ten of Pentacles, it could be a change in residence. Somebody could be moving. This is short-lived success, okay. This is a huge loss, and I don't know if it's with you or somebody that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with somebody that is experiencing a huge loss, and it's affecting you, or this could be happening in your life. This Ten of Pentacles reversed is bad business, okay. It's bad business. It's bad news. This is bad news. So I, you could be dealing with somebody. Maybe it's a suitor that you're dealing with that you are not very well suited for. 
okay? Either way, you need to get prepared because you're about to receive some sort of news and I don't know what it's about. It, I mean, it, it could have to be about a home that you purchased or land that you purchased or a relationship. There's something like that. Um, and I don't know if it, what it is. It could be about the job that you work at. This is typically, I'm just, I gotta be honest with you. Okay, this is short-lived success or... Um, it could even be a family quarrel. It doesn't have to be money wise, but mm, this is a 10 of pentacles. It could be family problems. Um, this is like losing it all. Uh, something to do with your home. Um, but this is a victory. The six of wands is a victory, which is interesting. It's a, it's a win. Um, fool this is a missed opportunity it's a foolish somebody's making made a foolish mistake this is a foolish mistake acting impulsively these are both very impulsive energy somebody is doing something foolish and because they're doing something foolish they need to get prepared for a, i mean the ten of pentacles is total ruin it is an extreme loss Okay, now the Six of Wands is a warrior. This person is a warrior. They're very experienced, very knowledgeable. They don't want to fight. They're done fighting. Uh, this person may be, it could be some sort of public recognition. Um, but this is, this is somebody that is mean-spirited, that has nothing good to say, that is, is button in, saying something that has problems. You, they, you may have somebody here that has some sort of problems with you. This person has problems with you and they, there's some sort of miscommunication here. What the hell is this? Six of Wands is, is leadership. It is some sort of leadership. It's, it's coming out of a the war, right? It's coming out of the battle and it's winning the battle. It's victory. But you may, it doesn't seem like it really is because of these cards. <laughs> Hangman. Hangman is you're going to struggle. This is a struggle. This is a, a learning some kind of lesson about doing things too fast. So I think you may have jumped into something without thinking and you're about to learn some sort of lesson, lesson for acting impulsively. You're probably going to be ending up thinking about what has happened. You need a new perspective, and I think that you're about to get a new perspective. Um, the hangman can be a timeout, okay? Uh, gaining a new perspective through isolation, through solitude. Uh, I think that you are dealing with an individual that is going to uh, call you out in some way this person is very experienced they've got something to say everybody knows as well because of all the people in the back here there's all kinds of people in the back that know what is going on so i think that these people are probably telling uh, this person to say something and they're going to say something uh You've got somebody that has nothing good to say and they're going to give you some sort of news that uh, it almost feels like it bursts your bubble. And I'm not, I'm sorry. And it could be somebody that you're dealing with, just, just letting you know. The fool reversed is heading for a fall. It's foolish behavior. It's recklessness. You may you may have been unprepared, or you may be unprepared for what is about to happen. But I'm telling you that you better get prepared. Somebody has made a foolish decision. They have acted impulsively. Um, now we got this person that is thinking about everything that has happened, and this person is struggling. And I think the person that is struggling is about to come forth. They are about to come forth. Uh, and they're going to come towards you, the Queen of Swords. They're going to say something to you. They're going to put you on the spot. You're going to be put on the spot by an individual that um, I feel like this individual is. What is this? Ind this individual is looking at you. This individual is going to question you. This person is very noble and forthright, and he is being told by his peers this person is being told by his peers to uh almost feels like drop you just drop this person drop it because this is drop you know um 
Mm. Now that's a new opportunity. Go look someplace else. Let this person go. Let it go. Yeah, stop holding on. This person, you got somebody that is either you're holding on to them or they're holding on to you. There's a lot of stubbornness here. There's somebody wants to hold on. They do. They want to hold on. They want to hold on. Very, very stubborn energy. Somebody wants to hold on, but there's been some sort of missed opportunity. Somebody, uh, there's like a third party situation here and, and the opportunity has been missed. We have this hero that is like coming to save the day. It's like they, they're coming to save you or something like that. Or that's what it looks, this is like a hero. But there, there's negative, this is negative, okay? Because the page of wands in reverse is negative. It's negative news, it's not good news. Okay, it's not good news. This is seizing a new opportunity, taking a new opportunity. Somebody is taking a new opportunity. You may be receiving news that somebody that you are holding on to is taking a new opportunity because you wasted your time. Or vice versa. That's victim mentality, no success. Lack of success. This isn't ending successfully. Um, flogging a dead horse. Resisting change. Stuck in the present. Not learning a lesson. Refusing to change. Staying put. We have, and it feels like you're staying in a situation where there is no success. And you may be holding on to it for the money. For the stability of it. But I do feel like there's been some sort of reckless behavior that is going to be revealed. Okay, it's going to be revealed. I feel like this five of pentacles is abandonment. It's neglect. We have somebody here that is feeling abandoned. They're feeling neglected. They may see themselves as a victim. Get prepared to be ghosted. I think that you're going to be ghosted by somebody. Um, and I don't know who. I don't know who. Somebody may be turning their back on you or you're turning your back on them. Okay, because this can go vice versa. Because there's no success. The world card reverse is a lack of success. Not learning a lesson. It's no positive change that is coming. And we have an individual here that is very frustrated. They're very frustrated because... Uh, whoever is being very stubborn, staying put, wherever they're at, is, you know, missing an opportunity for love. And it's like, I can't wait forever. I can't wait forever. So I feel like uh, somebody is turning their back. They're focusing on the future. And I think that somebody is about to get ghosted. And they're losing an opportunity for a commitment for happily ever after because... You know, there's no uh, desire, no real desire to follow through with everything that has been said. So I think this is going to be a spur of the moment kind of thing. Not really though, because there's been a lot of thinking going on with the with the uh, hangman underneath there. We have an individual um, that has been thinking a lot. They've been thinking a lot about everything that has happened and it's just like, you know, I'm not, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I want, I want something, uh, real, you know, I want to be recognized. <sighs> Seven of wands reverse. This is worn down. This is quitting, quitting. Somebody's giving up. They're giving up. They're giving up on um, holding on. It's like, I'm not going to wait for you. I'm just not going to wait for you anymore. This is giving up. This is, this is, uh, can't do it anymore. Stepping down. Done fighting. Again, done fighting. I'm not going to fight about this. I think somebody's going to push you away. Or you're going to push them away. Somebody's getting pushed away. There's, there could be a relocation. Um, there's no life left. This is a dead end. I'm not going to invest in you anymore. 
you know, I see something else. I see a better opportunity. You may be healing, hearing those words. There's a better opportunity here and I'm taking it. I'm done wasting my time and sacrificing myself for you while you sit here and stay where you're at because, you know, of the money or the stability or whatever. I think this started out with hoping for the best. We may have a third party situation here where somebody hoped for the best and they just can't get off the pot. Ten of Cups. Sun card reversed. Now that is unhappiness. Uh, loneliness due to disillusionment. So somebody's lonely. They're lonely. They're in an unhappy situation. Unhappy commitment. Unhappy relationship. And they see themselves as a victim. They probably play the victim card. But they're staying because of the, because for the money. It's like they're just staying in the marriage for the money or the commitment or the job or whatever it is. Just staying for the money, for the home, for the you know, the family or whatnot. But anyway, this is an unhappy relationship where there is an opportunity for new love. And I think it's it's now there's going to be a rejection. There's going to be a rejection because there's no movement. And I think whoever is doing the rejecting has another opportunity now, and that's why that's why there's the, it's over. It's like there's there's no more talking about it. There's no there's no more communication. I feel like this this it just dies. You know what I mean? It just it's like the the communication dies. The whole thing it just ends. It's like. There could be even somebody here that feels ashamed for engaging, you know, They're, because the sun card reversed, it could be like feeling ashamed. This is unrealistic. Somebody hasn't been honest with themselves. Somebody made an unhealthy decision to engage um, it feels like very prematurely as well, impulsively, you know, it was like risky. It was, it was, it may have been, you know, a risky situation and now it's like, it's not fun anymore. So I do see somebody here turning their back on a potential relationship and focusing someplace else because of you know, neglect because of abandonment, because of no, no, no movement, because of no success. Things aren't changing. Somebody is stuck. But there is a new love interest, whether it's for you or the person that you're dealing with. You could be dealing with a person that has a new love interest, you know, or it's you. But there's a need to uh, really focus on the future and not let whatever this dead end, this dead end is that you have been investing in, uh, keep holding you back. Oh, I don't know. I've been flipping this, but we got the tower on the bottom. So I don't know if it's upright or reverse, but we can, we can, either way, it's, in a, it's unavoidable. This is a tower moment. This is, this is definitely a tower moment, upright or reverse, period. Doesn't even matter. A tower moment is a major life change. That is a shock. It's an uproar. It's a disturbance. You are going to get some disturbing information about a false sense of security. And this is, it's like all of a sudden light is shed. This is like a permanent loss. So I feel like uh, you are about, and this is Uranus energy. This is a, a major disruptive disruption in your life. Okay. You're going to, you're about to feel this. It's almost, it's a, it hits, it's like an earthquake. Okay. It hits like, uh, oh, what I want to say is a brick. Um, I think there's going to be a fight with somebody that you have been keeping at bay. You've been keeping this person at bay while you 
think about your future. But you, and it's been taken way too long. And I think this person that is at bay is about to say, nay, <laughs> bye bye, see ya, not interested. And this could go vice versa. That, that could be you saying that, nope, not interested. I don't want to, I don't want to be involved in any false foundations. Somebody tried to build the false foundation. This is something you never saw coming. So I do think this is going to be a very uh, interesting month for you. I think that you will receive this news uh, towards the end of the month, the end of September. Um, I just do. I feel like it's closer to October, September, end of September, October. Could be the middle of September. Um, you may hear that somebody is... You know, or it's you. Somebody is choosing another option. Okay, they are. They are. They're done investing. They're done fighting. They're done putting in any effort. They're not happy with the current circumstances. And there's probably going to be a blow up. And I do it with this two-faced friend and right here. I think you have some mutual friends with this person. And one of them, or maybe even two, I think that you, you, have, a, you have some people that are really not on your side. Okay, I think these people, their mutual friends are saying, why are you dealing with this? Why, why, why are you even putting yourself in this position? They may be saying it to this other person or they're saying it to you. You know, why? Why? Why are you uh, trying to be with somebody who uh, doesn't value you or, or is, in a, is married or whatever the case is? So I do believe you're going to receive some sort of news. Uh, it's not good news. And it's, it's really going to shake your foundation. Um... You do have a new person here. You do have a new person here. Stop wasting your time. Good luck. <laughs>